Hello, welcome to problem 4 from module 2's problem set. Um, this is a very interesting problem in that I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to calculate these probabilities. So the first part of this is to determine the area under the standard normal curve that lies to the left of z equals 0 0.65. Remember that the problems may use different numbers, but the process is going to be very much the same. So to the left of z equals 0 0.65, let's pop into StatCrunch. And again, notice plugin is not supported yet. It's got to work through. So we're going to open a new StatCrunch. And there's new StatCrunch. Now the problem asked us to the left of z equals 0 0.65. Remember, z is for the standard normal curve. So we'll go into stat. We'll go into calculators. Notice a lot of distributions that we can use for calculation. Important ones include the binomial and, for this one, the normal. Click on normal, and it pops this window. Again, remember back to the homework problem. It's to the left of 0.65. To the left of z equals 0 0.65. Mean of 0, standard deviation 1, since this is the standard normal curve. We want things to the left of, so it's going to be less than or equal to 0 0.65. Hit Compute. Now notice the shading. Remember, areas are probabilities. So this area is the probability of a random variable z being less than or equal to 0 0.65. And that value is 0 0.74215389. I'm going to highlight. Control C, Control V to, put, uh, to paste it, round to four decimal places, seven, four, two, two. Check answer. Good job. To the left of Z equals 1.19. Left of, again, this is left, 1.19. Compute. Again, the red shaded area is going to be the probability that the random variable is less than 1.19. Copy, paste. Remember four decimal places 88297, so 8830. Check answer. To the left of 0.81. the left of 0.81, copy, paste, four decimal places, check answer, and to the left of 0 0.44. Great job. I do want to mention a couple things here. You can change this from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Notice a couple things. One, the opposite side gets shaded. The second thing to notice is that since the area under the normal curve always adds up to 1, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 0.44 is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 0.44. So if you add the 0.67 to the 0.33, you'll get 1, as you need to. The new stat crunch also gives you the ability to calculate between probabilities. So the probability that x is between negative 1 and 1, this shaded area is 0.6827. Also notice that we've been working with the standard normal curve that is a normal distribution with mean 0, standard deviation 1. If we need to change it to a different type of normal distribution, such as a mean of 2 and a standard deviation of 0 0.1, we just change those numbers. 
and so the probability that x is between 2.25 and 2.35 is just going to be that probability there. Hopefully this was helpful. If not, leave some messages in the uh, materials discussion forum and I will talk to you later. Bye.